Hello everyone. Welcome you all for today's discussion. Today we are going to discuss five very important current affairs based prelims question. Let us start the discussion with the question number one. Afghanistan has been in the news due to U.S. Taliban peace agreement. Which of the following countries borders Afghanistan? India, Pakistan, Turkmenistan, Iran, Tajikistan. We have to identify the correct answer using the codes given below. See, the one has to remember. It is the map-based questions. The map-based questions plays vital role in Pelham's perspective. Therefore, one has to go through all the map-based very important current of topic. Let us discuss this question. See, the Afghanistan is bounded to the east by India, to the south by Pakistan, and also to the west by Iran, and in the northern side by the Central Asian states of Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan and Tajikistan. See, based on the discussion, here all the five are the borders of Afghanistan, that is India, Pakistan, Turkmenistan, Iran and Tajikistan. All, that is D, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are the borders of Afghanistan. See, here I have provided you the few more explanations regarding with Afghanistan and US Taliban peace agreement. That is nothing but Doga agreement. See, the United States has signed an historical deal with the Taliban, which that is that could pave the way for ending the 18 years war in Afghanistan. The deal was signed in Doha, that is Qatar and thus termed as Doga Agreement. So here I have given you few very important facts related to Doga Agreement as well as the Afghanistan and the borders nearing countries surrounding by the Afghanistan. One has to go through this. Let us move on with the question number two. Consider the following statement regarding reverse osmosis system used in water filters in India. And also, one has to note that we have to identify the correct statement here. Statement number one, in RO based water filters, total dissolved salts, that is TDS are reduced to meet the potable water standards. and the TDS consists of only inorganic salts like calcium, magnesium and home filters waste nearly 80% of the water during treatment. Here we have to identify the correct statement. See first of all one has to know what is the reverse osmosis system. See this reverse osmosis system is nothing but it is an external pressure to reverse the natural flow of solvent and uh, so sea water or brackish water is pressurized against one surface of the member causing salt depleted water to move across the member and releasing clean water from the low pressure side. See here I have provided you the explanations. Kindly go through these explanations and also I have provided you what are the problems with this reverse osmosis? In May, the National Green Tribunal asked the Minister of External Affairs, sorry, not External Affairs, Ministry of Environmental Affairs, to frame rules for the use of reverse osmosis filter and also ban the use of RO purifiers in locations where TDS was very low. According to the National Green Tribunal, RO purifiers lead to wastage of almost 70 to 80 percent of water during purification process. What are the problems? I have listed you few problems with the RO. So kindly go through. Let us check with the statements. 
in rho the total dissolved solid in water which covers trace chemicals such as certain viruses bacteria and salts that can be reduced to meet potable water standards therefore this statement is right what about statement number 2 see this tds that is total dissolved solids in water are some organic as well as inorganic materials but it is given as only organic therefore this statement is wrong you can eliminate b and as well as d if you analyze the options remaining options a and c obviously one is right let us see about the uh, three statement number 3 see just now we have discussed that ohm filters waste nearly 80% of the water during treatment the four one and three is right option a one and three is right for this question let us move on with the uh, question number 3 here i have provided you explanations and what are the problems with ro kindly go through this also hope this will help you to clear or uh, to solve the questions based on reverse osmosis let us move on with the question number 3 with reference to market intelligence and early warning system in short mews portal recently launched by government consider the following statement it is first of kind platform for real time monitoring of price of tomato onion potato and for simultaneously generating alerts for intervention under the term of the operation green scheme okay statement number 2 the mews portal is an initiative of the ministry of agriculture and farmer welfare here we have to identify the correct statement see it is a straight forward one this m i e w s that is market intelligence and early warning system it is a initiative of ministry of food processing industry therefore the statement 2 is obviously wrong see therefore we can eliminate c and b we have to check with the statement number 1 yes this statement is right why since the market intelligence and early warning system it is a dashboard and portal it's a first of its kind of platform for real time monitoring of prices of tomato onion and potato in short top and for simultaneously generating alerts for intervention under the terms of operation green one has to know more detail about operation green scheme that is also very important with respect to prelims perspective the portal also it uh, gives the relevant information related to top top is nothing but tomato onion and potato crops such as price arrivals and areas yield and protection and imports and export crop calendars crop agronomy etc so therefore the statement number 1 is right so the answer would be a one only here i have provided you the explanation for this so kindly remember kindly go through about operation green scheme that is very important if possible we will try to discuss operation green scheme in the upcoming sessions let us move on with the next question consider the following statement regarding recently launched sati initiative the initiative aims to sustain and accelerate the adoption of energy efficiency technologies in the power loom sector and cost saving due to use of such technology and it is a initiative of ministry of textiles here one has to note very important thing here we have to identify the incorrect statement that is very important see this sophisticated analytical technical and help institutes see i have given you about uh, this sati scheme this sati scheme was launched to address the need for building shared and uh, proportionally managed and strong science and technology infrastructure in the country which is readily accessible to academic or startups manufacturing industry and uh, research and development labs therefore here it is given as this initiative to sustain and accelerate the adoption of energy efficient technologies textile technologies in the power loom see this is nothing but this statement one 
is belongs to sati it is belongs to s a a t h i but not belongs to sati s a t h i so s a a t h i is nothing but sustainable and accelerated adoption of efficient textile technology this is to help small industries therefore the statement one is obviously wrong just now we have discussed it is a initiative of ministry of it is the initiative of ministry of science and technology and ministry of science so just now we have discussed therefore it is not the based of ministry of textile the first statement two is also wrong therefore both the statements given here are incorrect here we have to identify the incorrect statement therefore answer would be b 1 and 2 only is both the statements are incorrect here i have provided you the explanations also let us move on with the question number 5 with reference to dark net sometimes seen in news consider the following statement see this dark net is very important let us see few facts related to dark net and then we will try to analyze the statement here i have given you the explanation for the statement but let us discuss few things related to dark net the dark web is the virtual equivalent of a black market like silk road that marketed illegal drug through the dark web and also the entity entities which want to operate out of the arms of the law seek refuge in the dark web see this dark web is the area of the internet which is not accessible through search engines what we access through search engines is called as surface web but in dark web can be simply explained as the specialized form of browsing while incognito mode which means a disables browsing history and web cache the dark web is shielded by the specialized software such as tor that is the onion ring one has to remember this as the evident by the name the usb of a dark website is the anonymity it offers and it is nearly impossible of tracking it down and also in recent cyber attacks involving a ransom were the operators demanded for the victims that is ransom payment ranging between dollar 300 and dollar 600 through bitcoins so these are the very important facts related to dark net okay so let us discuss about the statement number 1 yes the statement number 1 is right why it is right this dark net is a network of encrypted internet content that is not accessible via thread search engines the just now we have discussed see what about statement number 2 while content on the deep web can be accessed dark net content is deliberately hidden deliberately hidden yes this is also right just now we have discussed that it is one that is tor the onion ring browser can be used to access content of the dark net this is also right based on this answer would be d 1 2 and 3 here i have given you the explanations about this dark net and about the statements kindly go through the explanations it will help you while solving the question with this i am concluding this session we will meet in the next session thank you have a good day